Hey, my people, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can stay up to date on more hot sets we got coming at you. So today we are going to be reviewing some products I got sent from Born Pretty. So the first thing we got is some extension nail gel. We got some metallic drawing gel. And they wrap this tight. We got some gel polish. Gel polish. Gel polish. <laughs> so we'll get into those and have a look, see what they are. I like that package though. Oh, okay, I think this is a rubber base. A pretty kind of a mauvish purple color. I like that. Oh, and we have a beautiful dark maroon color and this was the metallic gel liner but I tell y'all I'm not sure if mine was defective or something because this stuff stunk to high hell and then you can see kind of by the consistency of it it's kind of watery so Born pretty. I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to look or if I got one that's defective. I don't know, but it stank. Okay. And here we have the uh, extension gel, which is just the um, hard um, gel where you can actually make your nail enhancement. So this is what we received from them. So let's get into doing our set. We'll start with the rubber base. I already did my prep work and put down my uh, dehydrator and primer. So I never have done nails this way with using the um, hard gel like this and the, um, the nail forms. I've used the nail forms with poly gel but I've never used them on this um, gel extension method. So we'll see how I like it. So I'm just taking it and just pressing it down in there. And I'm not sure we gonna learn together. I'm not sure how thick it's supposed to be or whatnot and and it stuck to my finger. And um, this was supposed to be a non-stick formula, but the um, my room, I did have a heater on, so maybe that made it kind of sticky in the room. So I just took off the glove and used my hand. And then we are going to just take that and press it on. And see how that looked. We went ahead and baked it. And then we are gonna rock it off. And actually, it looks pretty nice. I think I got a little bubble there by the base, but it didn't do bad. I, I like the look of it. So we got them all done. And now I'm going to file them and shake them. I wanted a coffin, so I went ahead and did a coffin look. And now we can apply our gel polish. I'm not sure if I should have put like a base coat down on top of it or what. If y'all use this, tell me how it's worked for you. If you did a base coat and did the, did the gel polish or or what. So let us listen to them. So as usual, I am designing on the fly. So I decided I was going to do one full nail in that color. Then we're going to do a French and then we're gonna do 
some filigree with the metallic gel underneath this French. And then here I'm like, I don't know. So I decided on doing um, some little abstract kind of swirls with some negative space in the middle. And then I can outline that with the metallic gel too. So I'll just let you guys watch me fill that on in. All right, so now we are going to get to the metallic gel. And I'm just going to outline these swirls I did here. Right now we are going to outline our French here. And then after we do this outline, then we're gonna move down the nail a little bit and do another French curve a little, or smile line down a little further. But I don't know if you can tell that the color kind of separated on the metallic gel a little bit. If you can see it on the other finger, like it's kind of not as silver as it was. So I'm thinking that maybe there was something going on with this gel, but y'all can tell me if you used it before. Because if you can look in the, the jar, it's like it's separating a little bit. So, I don't know. Like I said, we're going to draw our second smile line. And then once we got that all together, we can start our little filigree pattern inside of it. And for our pattern, we are just going to do little swirls inside of it. And you can do swirls however you like. I'm just switching the direction here. Doing one one direction and then switching it and doing a swirl the other direction. And we're just gonna 
draw down a little line here it's a little swirly line and then we'll start that to another swirl Not exactly the same but do some lines and then let that roll oops hit the camera sorry <laughs> then let that roll into another swirl golly I need a new stand so we got that done now we are just going to do reverse my lines flip the other direction and we're just going to take it and carry it down the nail bit the bling of course but I want to go ahead and put my top coat down first so we don't ruin anything while we are blinking just in the middle of those swirls with some tiny little stones and then we're going to put some more tiny little stones and because they're so small you could just secure these with, with top coat really so I'm just going to put those in the middle of the reverse smile lines does that make them frown lines? <laughs> I guess so. And then we're going to put down a couple of cuticle blinks. Across our little pinky. got us a nice simple false set and there is the finished product I had to take the video in front of like the single rose I have left on my rose bush but I think it turned out good I like the method of using the extension gel but it is a little longer I don't think I would replace using acrylic or hard gel on like a paper form for it but it's still a nice method. The product is nice. The only thing I wasn't sure about is that metallic gel. But the color I love and the extension gel I really liked. So, you guys let me know what you thought about them. What you thought about the set. What you thought about the products. Thank you again Born Pretty for sending them to me. And as always, kindness is key. Be who you be. And dream big. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.